Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Means and Ends is October 5th's Daily Devotional. Better is the poor who walks in his integrity than one who is perverse in his lips and is a fool. Proverbs 19.1 Throughout the ages, ethicists have debated the connection between means and ends. Can an immoral action be justified in order to achieve moral outcomes? For example, would a prisoner be justified in paying a bribe to a dishonest jailer in order to get out of jail to save the life of his dying child? Does saving the life of the child justify dishonesty? Fortunately, the Bible offers us insight into this difficult question. When David, the new king of Israel, wanted to return the Ark of the Covenant to Jerusalem, God took a man's life for not handling the Ark in the prescribed manner. Then, in 1 Samuel 6:19, he struck down some of the men of Beth Shemesh because they had looked into the ark of the Lord. Why the harsh treatment? Specifically because Israel needed to regain a lost fear or awe and respect for God's holiness. Generally, because God is as interested in how we do things as in what we do. From God's perspective, the end doesn't justify the means. Wanting to do something good doesn't excuse doing something bad. If you're planning an action, look as closely at the how as you do at the what. Make sure both bring honor to God. God. To end a quote from William Shakespeare, Mine honor is my life, both grow in one. Take honor from me, and my life is done. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Amen.